Hey, welcome to 5 minutes of behind the scenes of the Mordic podcast, of the Mordicast. And we're sitting here today with three people. That's uh, Leon. Hi, Leon. Hello there. It's uh, Thomas. Hey. Hey, Thomas. And myself, I'm Eki. And um, we're actually two podcasts. Uh, we have the German flavor that I'm doing with, with Thomas, or rather the other way around. And the, for the English Mordicast, uh, that's Leon and myself and you find the two under mordicast.de and uh, mordicast.com so we're doing this whole thing twice and we want to give you a little bit of insight uh, about the whole thing because it applies to both languages so what do we want to talk about today one typical question is how do you pick your content where do you get the content from and that's actually a variety one really important source is what is on our minds anyway. So whatever comes across in customer projects, in, in our team, in, in the community, etc., that are there anyway. And then on the other hand, we put a lot of effort into research, into monitoring all the channels out there and, and figuring out what people ask, what has been published in, in tech, what has been published in tutorials, etc. And then from all that uh, variety, pick the relevant things that fit into this or that episode. We have more input channels and, and the most important one is, is you, the, the listener. We are always asking you to give feedback and to give uh, ideas to us. And we do not only do that in the podcast, we also reach out to people individually. At least I do that from time to time on, on LinkedIn or other channels. And uh, there's a lot of value in the responses that I get there. So there have been multiple topics that we talked about, there have been interviews that have been spawned by that, and there's more coming down the pipe. Um, that's really working well, and I would encourage everybody to reach out to me or to the team and to th suggest ideas and interview partners as well. Yep, that would be great. Okay, so, so once we have uh, that figured out, of course, the next question is, what do we do with the content? So how do you produce is, a, I think, the most... Uh, the single most frequently asked question. So how do we produce, Thomas? <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's a three-step process we are doing there. First of all, we got to record the thing. Then we have to produce or post-produce the thing. And then it's publishing. And for recording, uh, we use a tool called Reaper and a plugin for that called Ultraschall. Uh, that enables us to do multi-track recording. This is what we need for producing the podcast. And uh, oftentimes we have uh, interview partners that are not here on site. So uh, then we are using a tool called Studio Link that enables us to call people and put them on the show and get a really good audio quality. And that's the thing that I really use when I do interviews. And the beauty of it is that once again, we do have multi-track recordings. So, so all the other tools out there from Skype to you name it, uh, have good quality too, but we really want the multi-track and the, the double net, etc. So that's why you, what we use is studio link thing and thing. And um, it's not very well known, but it's some thumbs up from our side. Right. And then we got like multi-tracks of uh, one podcast episode and then we need to cut that some as removed uh, trim it to the right lengths uh, insert the interview and so on and so forth again we are doing this in ultraschall and then the final step is to publish and we are using wordpress there and a wordpress plugin called podlove podcast publisher and with that, we get the feed we need to publish it to iTunes and Spotify and everywhere. And this is how we produce this podcast. Yeah, it took us a while to figure it all out. Basically, really, Thomas uh, doing that. And, and once you set that all up, I including more things like Orphonic, etc., that are par part of the work workflow, once that all is established, I it's really fun to use it. But still a little bit of work involved. So... The other question is, uh, how much work is it, uh, Leon? It's a lot of work. It's okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um, uh, yeah, it's easily about seven to eight hours per episode concerning the amount of time it takes to research new topics, the amount of time we uh, use to record and everything. It's easily seven to eight hours per episode. 
Okay, then the typical follow-up question is, of course, why in the world are you guys doing that? It is a pretty good question. First of all, we have a lot of fun doing it, and it's also very valuable to the modern community, and for us, we learn a lot doing the podcast. And in an open source community, it's a very valuable to have a source like the Modicast or just a podcast um, because it spreads visibility and a lot of knowledge. Yeah, I agree. I think it's it's a good thing for, for Modic to have it. And we, of course, we want Modic to be the best thing in the world from as every aspect. <laughs> so that's an, another angle where we can contribute here. And again, like I said, it is open source. There is some... Uh, value for us as well in, in doing this thing and, and uh, getting to know people, etc. So it's how open source works in the best way. Right. Yeah, so yes, it is a lot of work, but, but we also have to say that while you see or mostly hear the three of us as the faces and, and, and voices of the podcast, there's more behind it, more people behind it. Uh, we couldn't do all this without Lamin and everybody else who are assisting us on an ongoing basis. So thanks to all you guys and girls and uh, thumbs up. Yeah, shout out. Yeah, And to you, dear listeners, it would be nothing without you. And uh, once again, we appreciate all sort of feedback. If you've never listened to the podcast, uh, go ahead, check it out on modicast.com or for the German language audience at modicast.de. Yeah, have fun. Give us all the feedback that you have. We, we enjoy hearing from you. And uh, for now, uh, thank you very much. Have fun with Mordicon. Cheers. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>